you're like thinking of a stick tied yeah, to. Yeah, I was like a stick. Wow, that's great. Good afternoon, beautiful people. I'm on my way down to the barn to continue working. Uh, if you saw our last one, we were putting the floor in and well, we got it done. I guess I'll walk in here and show you. We are closing in on our class we are doing with Hand Hewn Farm. It's just been a whole rush to get everything in that we want to get in, get everything ready to entertain. Uh, it's going to be fun. We're going to have a lot of people here. A lot of a lot of kids are going to be here. It's going to be fun. Let me walk in here. I'll show you what the top looks like. There's the light. So that's a tabletop we have. I got that all sanded and oiled. We might use it. We might not. Uh, the workbench is. I kind of sanded it down. I didn't oil it or anything. But if we need to use that, we can. And then tables are going to get shuffled around wherever. Looks like helpers have been in here. Uh, I brought the sink up. It's going to go right in that doorway. I think. I think we're almost done. There's just you know, kind of shuffling the last little bits. Uh, we'll do that tomorrow. Uh, today. I get to go play down in the workshop. I need to figure out some way of hoisting the pig. If you guys have seen how we've done stuff, uh, we've done pigs here either borrowing a bobcat, lifting them that way to scald and scrape them, or we, well, I built a giant contraption catapult looking thing to pick the pig up, dunk the pig in the hot water, and then back onto a table, and it worked great but I've used up most of that lumber and I don't really feel like making that again. It was kind of rickety and kind of sketchy. So I think what I'm going to do is something a little more permanent. I want to build some sort of, you know, it's called a gib, gib crane, a jib crane. It's basically just a swinging arm that you can hoist stuff on. Usually you put a crane on it, like a little, you know, one of those hoists. I'm not going to put a hoist on it. We're just going to use a rope and pulley and block and tackle. I would like to mount it to the corner of the barn and be able to pick up the pig in one spot, move over to our pot of water, and then to a scraping table. If I can do it, I've got some extra material that I got when I bought material for building those ram pens. We'll see what I can come up with. At this point, I only have a very vague idea of how I'm gonna do this. It's pretty much I gotta go down there and scratch my head a few times and see what I come up with. So, I'm gonna go down and get started. Dinner time, had my little break. This is a whole bunch of time lapse, but I figured I'd give some explanation as to what exactly is going on. So I've got the crane portion built, and I feel like moving out here, I'm so far away from a metal store, it's ours to go pick up any kind of any kind of steel. And so what I have is what I have. Like I've got scraps of this and that. Everything I have ever learned in fabrication, all of those feathers I've got in my hat, 
I have had to use since we moved out here. I have never had to sit and plan and replan and think about stuff so much as I have every time I do a welding project out here. The way I wanted to make the hinges was one way and the way I came up with, we're gonna do barrel hinges. That's some one inch bar. I've got some pipe I'm gonna beef up. The work, I really wanted something a little smoother, but for what it is, a one inch hinge, it's gonna hold a bunch of weight. Uh, I'm actually, with as much weight as this crane will hold up, I mean, that's eighth inch square tubing, some pretty heavy stuff. Uh, I would be more, more worried about pulling the barn down than breaking any of the metal stuff. So I'm gonna get everything finished up, made, I'm out of daylight, as you guys can tell. It's dark outside. I'm gonna finish this up and then mount it in the morning, hopefully before all the shenanigans start. Tomorrow is when hand is supposed to show up. Probably not till the end of the day because they've got to drive all the way from Ohio. So I think I got a little bit. I was hoping to have this done today, but hey, what are you gonna do? All right, it is the next day. It's time to go inside and get warmed up because it was cold last night. All right, I got my hinges done. Hinges. I'm too excited. All right, let me get the camera set up and I'll show you these. Long time ago, back when I was a welder full time, these are called barrel hinges. So it's a big beefy pin. I mean, you can see why they'd be called a barrel hinge. Okay, well then these type of hinges actually rest on a ball bearing and it makes for a really smooth operation. Uh, I'll pump some grease in there, and then when this is up sitting, it'll hold a whole bunch of weight, and it'll pivot just wonderfully. So, I made those last night, got those done. I'm amazed I had material to make these, uh, let alone two of them. All right, I'm gonna weld these to the crane and then build the portion that's gonna attach to the building. Let's get this done. We're down to the 11th hour. The guys are supposed to be here, I think they said about 7.30 tonight, so I at least have until dark. But, I mean, we're starting bright and early in the morning, so this has to be done and in and working tonight. Okay, we are ready. Now I gotta go mount the bracket and then figure out a way to lift that heavy sucker up. I'm excited.
I didn't know I was making a giant swing. Ready? Yeah. Into the quench tank. Yep, into the dunk. <laughs> All right. I'm pretty happy with that. That'll work. Yeah. All right, now I just got to get the pulley, mount the pulley up there. Yeah. That's cool. I'm pretty happy. Yeah. Now I can finish setting everything up, get our bucket ready, get everything ready. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go outside? Looks like I got snacks. Looks like I got snacks. I got my jacket. Yep. I got, I picked out my own socks. Yep. You're good to go. <laughs> You're so silly. Come on, let's go. Time to show Meg the crane, even though she's going to see it tomorrow. Right. See it now. I, Man, I get that's, the sneak peek privileges. That's the sneak peek. That's the <laughs> privileges of being married to someone who can weld. <laughs> Uh, it looks like it's just a swing. I, I built a swing for the boys. <laughs> that yeah. is quite beefy. That's beefy. in typical Ben fashion. That's way more than I had expected. <laughs> You're like thinking of a stick tied yeah, to... Yeah, it was like a stick. Wow, that's great. It's like a crane. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That'll uh, definitely pick up a pig. Heck yeah. And then I've got lifting points, you know, at halfway. Cool. And then three quarters, so. Right on. See, one of the things, if we raise a pig up to like 600 pounds, which we've talked about, we're not going to be yanking on a pulley or winching no. that sucker up there. I'm going to borrow a bobcat right. or have a friend over with a bobcat, yeah. and we're going to lift that sucker from the pin to the dunk. Like, right? <laughs> right. I ain't about to be yanking on a rope pulling a 600-pound pig up. No, but for these guys, yeah, the, the, the guinea hogs, they're... I I'd, I'd be surprised if they were 200 pounds, uh, but yeah, that'll pick up a little guinea hog. That'll pick up any feeders, you know, 250 to 350, no yeah. problem. Oh yeah. So there you have it. That was a bunch of time lapse. Everything is done. We even separated out the two guinea hogs that are going. They are now next to the barn in an extra pin. Yep. It feels nice to like get everything done that was on the list. Yep. All right, that's gonna do it for us for today. We will catch you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye.